So guys, welcome back. Um, I just want to apologize firstly for not uploading for the past 12, 13 days, I think. Got a bit sick and I was lazy. I was definitely lazy and I didn't want to make the video. But today we are going to move on to a different topic. Today we'll be talking about the gold standard and how it basically influenced the US dollar and the currency nowadays. It's a different topic than, you know, the self-improvement, but something, I think, I want like, you know, kind of, I don't know, mix up the things that I want to do, because I want to help you mentally and financially. So we talk about the gold standard and what it is. So basically, the gold standard is when the US dollar was, or any currency was used for gold, so let's just say an ounce of gold was $500. That means one ounce, how do I explain? So basically the one dollar would be one five hundred of an ounce. Because of that, the government cannot be manipulating the money and kind of use the inflation deflation of the currency so they won't be able to affect the market at all because there is a limited amount of gold on the earth and that's why there's a fixed price for gold that way it combats inflation and deflation and that's important because you don't want well it depends on who you are if you have the assets inflation for you will be good because you're making more money but overall, the U.S. dollar has no value in the in the end. But the, with the usage of the gold standard, countries were not able to manipulate the currency exchange or how the market moves. This way, it basically helps. It would have helped you save your money. But nowadays, the government is using the fiat system, which I will talk about in the next, the next, the next video. I'll say, yeah, I'll talk about it in the next video. But basically, the gold standard is the usage of gold. It's limited. That's why it's all saved into one spot. Um, combat inflation, deflation. I think nineteen. Yeah, the the English people from England, they were the first ones to use the gold standard. I'm not sure exactly what year it was, but I do remember, I think the last, when the gold standard ended in America, it was 1971, 1971, President Nixon, he basically called off the gold standard. And we'll also be talking about the Bretton Woods, Bretton Woods Law, I think it's called. We'll get onto that into another video as well on what it is and how it basically affects the market and how it was implemented. But that's all for today. Thank you.